In our morning rounds, exercising cancer away, you know working out benefits your heart. Well, it could also help fight cancer. A new study says fit middle-aged men may be less likely to develop lung and colon cancer down the road. And if they do develop it, more are likely to survive. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. David, good morning. This is great news. How does exercise prevent cancer? Well, it's a very interesting study. They took middle-aged men, and unfortunately, they defined middle age as 50 years old, <laughs> and they looked at how they did on a cardiac stress test. You know, if you do well on a cardiac stress test, there's a dramatically lower rate of heart disease later on. But what they showed is that predicted who had a lower risk of cancer also. And the people who did better on the test, if they were diagnosed with prostate, colon, or lung cancer, their death rate was lower. So pretty amazing that a decade and a half before the event, your cardio uh, fitness predicted what was gonna happen with cancer. Why was it only just men, Dr. David Agus, and no women included? And does it matter for women? Does it make the same difference for women? Well, this study just happened to look at men. One would assume that the results are similar in women. That study hasn't been announced or looked at yet. But certainly, there shouldn't be a major physiologic difference there. Mm -hmm. What kind you of know, exercise are we talking about? Well, in this case, it was just how fit you were. And what the cool thing about this study showed is that if you were able to run a 12-minute while, your risk of cancer was X. But just reducing that to 11 and a half minutes had a pretty dramatic reduction in your risk mm. of cancer. Mm. Dr. Agus, explain to us the biology. How does the exercise prevent cancer? Well, I think of it this way. If I drop a match in a field of grass after it rains, nothing happens. If I drop a match in New York, I mean, in Los Angeles, it goes up in, in, in flames. So you need a receptive environment. And what exercise does is it changes our environment so cancer doesn't want to happen. You know, there's an amazing study that also came out today in mice showing that exercise in mice changes the blood supply in cancer to change the response to therapy. Do so the more exercise a mouse did, the better they responded to therapy for cancer. Well, I always think you talk about inflammation in cancer, and certainly exercise can help reduce inflammation over time. Can it also help retard cancer? In other words, if you have cancer and regular exercise, can that help? Well, yeah, the data showed clearly it can, is that people who exercise with cancer do better overall. And so whether it's reducing inflammation, changing blood supply, there are probably multiple mechanisms. But the message is get up off your chair and start moving. <laughs> and only need 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes a day getting your heart rate up is what we need. If we could do that, all of us, we'd all be in better shape. Good right. news. Well, I like how you said like get it. up off your chair. I know what you really <laughs> meant, Dr. David Agus. Dr. Hey. David Agus, thank you so much.